Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the place where beginners learn to crochet like pros. Today we're gonna learn how to crochet an ice cream cozy. I don't know about you, but ice cream is a necessity in my household. I mean, what's not to love? My all-time favorite ice cream is cookies and cream. But whenever I'm eating out of a pint, I always have to get Ben & Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie. Those brownie chunks are amazing. Tell me in the comments what's your favorite ice cream. I have made like way too many of these ice cream cozies. They're really great for gifting or to sell at craft fairs. And of course, they're really quick to work up. This week in LCE, we're talking about crocheting in the round. So I thought I would bring back one of my old patterns and turn it into a video tutorial. So let's go ahead and learn how to make an ice cream cozy. All right, now let's talk materials. You will need a medium weight yarn. I'm using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton, but you can use any medium weight yarn that you have on hand. This is also a really great scrap yarn project. You will also need a five millimeter hook, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. And for later, your favorite pint of ice cream. The first thing we're going to do is create a magic circle. So hold on to the tail like this and wrap the yarn around your fingers, creating an X shape. Insert your hook under the first strand and over the second and pull that second strand down and twist up until you have a loop. Now chain one to secure your magic circle and you'll be placing all your stitches for round one inside the circle. If you need a slower demonstration, I will link my magic circle tutorial in the description box. Now go ahead and put six single crochet in the magic circle. And remember that I always speak in US terms, so a single crochet in the US is a double crochet in the UK. Now close your magic circle by pulling on the tail, reinsert your hook, and slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. For round two, we're going to chain one and place two single crochet in each stitch around. So there's the first one, one, and then the second one in the same spot. two single crochet into the next stitch, and each stitch around. You should have 12 single crochet at the end of this round. Remember that this here is not a stitch. This is the slip stitch from the previous round. So we're just going to skip over that and slip stitch into the very first single crochet of the round. Now on to round three, we're going to chain one and place two single crochet into the very first stitch. and then one single crochet into the next. Two single crochet. One single crochet. And you're just going to repeat that pattern around. And if you're not familiar with working in the round, placing two single crochet into the same stitch is also called an increase. And this will help to keep your circle flat. and you should end with one single crochet into the last stitch. At the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. Now again, skip over this slip stitch here and slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round. And as each row goes on, you might notice that the circle of your magic circle is getting looser. So all you have to do is pull on the tail end and it will tighten it up. And if it continues to get loose, at the end, whenever you're finished making your ice cream cozy, once you weave in those ends, it will close up the hole nice and tight. Now, moving on to round four, we're going to chain one, which I already did, then place two single crochet into the very first stitch. So that's one and two. 
Now place one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two single crochet into the next stitch. And one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And again, repeat this pattern. And you should end your round with one single crochet into the last two stitches. Now slip stitch to that first stitch. And for rounds five through seven, we're just going to repeat that same sort of pattern. For round five, you're going to chain one, place two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, then repeat that around. You will have 30 stitches at the end of round five. For round six, you will chain one, place two single crochet into the very first stitch, and then one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Then repeat that around and slip stitch to join. You will have 36 stitches at the end of this row. For round seven, you will chain one, place two single crochet into the first stitch, and one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Repeat this around and slip stitch to join. For round seven, you will have 42 stitches. All right, now that we've reached the end of row eight, you now have the base of your pint. Now for round eight, you're going to chain one and single crochet into the back loop only of each stitch around. Now remember that sometimes it's hard to see this first stitch here, so you will be single crocheting into the back loop of that very first stitch there. And then of course, in each stitch around. Now at the end of row eight, we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet of the round. And we're officially working on the sides of our ice cream cozy. Now for round nine, we're going to chain two and half double crochet in each stitch around. And this chain two does count as a half double crochet, so we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch and each stitch around. So to do that, we're going to yarn over our hook Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now just continue half double crocheting in each stitch around. Remember that a half double crochet in the US is a half treble in the UK. Now when you reach the end of round nine, we're going to slip stitch into that top chain two from the beginning of the round. Now for round 10, we're going to chain two and half double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch around. So again, we're working into that back loop. Now go ahead and slip stitch to that top chain two now for round 11, we're just going to repeat round 10. So again, we're just half double crocheting into the back loop only of each stitch around. Now slip stitch to the top of that chain two and chain two. At this point, you can see that our cozy is starting to turn into more of a cup. You can flip it inside out and continue working that way because this is the right side of your work or you can work like this, it really just depends on your preference. I'm going to go ahead and flip mine inside out. Now for round 12, we're going to chain two and then half double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch. And then half double crochet into the front loop only of the next stitch. So there's two loops here. This is the back loop and this is the front loop. So we're going to come down here and insert our hook up and in between those V stitches. And that's the front loop. Now half double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch and the front loop of the next and just repeat this pattern around. So front loop, back loop, front loop, back loop. 
you should end on a half double crochet in the back loop only. Now slip stitch to the top of the chain two and for round 13 you're going to chain two and this time we're going to half double crochet into the front loop only and then the back loop. So front loop only at the next stitch and back loop only in the next. Front loop and back loop. So again, just repeat this pattern around. This time you should end with a half double crochet in the front loop. Now slip stitch to that top chain two and round 14 we're going to chain two and repeat round 12. So that is half double crochet into the back loop only and then half double crochet into the front loop only of the next stitch. So half double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch and then half double crochet into the front loop. And we're just alternating those stitches again. And while I'm working on this row, I wanted to explain that whenever I design patterns or create video tutorials, I'm always talking to beginners. So if you're not a beginner, you can always skip forward, but I'm really here for the beginners who are struggling. So the purpose to designing this ice cream cozy this way was to give you extra practice working in the front loop and back loop of stitches. Kind of like I did with my beginner washcloth series. So I just want you to know that there is a reason behind all of my designs. Also, if you are a beginner and you're new here, I would love for you to join me in my beginners Facebook group. So I'll leave a link in the description box below. All right, now you should be ending again with a back, with a half double crochet into the back loop only. Now slip stitch to join. And for round 15, we're going to chain two and half double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch around. So just the back loop this time, and we're almost done. Only a couple rounds left. All right, now slip stitch to join, and for round 16, we're going to repeat that same round. So half double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch around. And I actually have two ice cream cozy patterns listed on my website. So if you'd like to see a video tutorial for my second cozy, let me know in the comments. That one's a little bit more advanced, but not by much. And it's probably my favorite out of the two. Slip stitch to join. All right, for our final round, we're going to slip stitch in each stitch around. So whenever you do this, we're gonna go under both of those loops. So we're not chaining to start a new round, we're just going to straight, we're just going straight into slip stitches. So whenever you create a slip stitch, you insert your hook, yarn over, pull that loop through the stitch and through the loop on your hook. So that is how you slip stitch. But whenever you do this, make sure not to make your slip stitches too tight. You wanna make them a little loose so it's not too tight at the top. The reason why I like to create these slip stitches is because it creates a nice little border and because it hugs your ice cream pint a little bit better so it doesn't slip off. Now, once you reach the end of the round, you can slip stitch pretty much wherever. Here's my last stitch here. I'm going to slip stitch and then just tie off your work. So place your work down, grab your scissors, cut some yarn a couple inches away, and then yarn over and pull that strand all the way through and pull tight to secure. And you are all done with your ice cream cozy. All you have to do is grab your ice cream and slide it on in. And there you have it. All right, so that is how you crochet an ice cream cozy. I hope you really enjoyed this pattern and I would love to see anything that you make with it. So always tag me at Sigoni Macaroni across all social media and use the hashtag Sigoni Macaroni too so I don't miss it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll see you next time.